Okay, uh, quickly, I just want to quickly address this issue that streams on social media. I mean, a lot of us, we have come across it. And, um, I wake up every morning and what I see is still the same story. And uh, if I go to bed, what I, uh, if I lock in on social media, it's still the same story. The story of wreck, comma. So <laughs> a lot of us and um, a lot of pastors nowadays have been accused. A lot of came up from different angles, accused. Pastor raped or pastor raped me or pastor raped that and pastor raped this. So I just want to keep it should be a warning to every one of us. If actually you've been paid, uh, you just been paid to do that, try to scandalize the Christian or scandalize the name of our Lord Jesus Christ or scandalize the churches. So I just want to be very very careful. I actually I've gone through this particular story that really attract my attention to come up on social media. To make my own uh, observation concern everything that I've heard and some of people uh, opinions, some people uh, comment over this issue that uh, uh, general pastor of course uh, that is pastor Fatu Oyibo uh, a lady came up uh, he saw that this man raped her when she was a teenager then so uh, the story is just a kind of complicated which we try to I just do my own uh, primary investigation to know how this uh, is it true or is it is it a fact or just that it's a, it's a scandal? So I find out that everything she said, the lady in question, she said uh, it's just a scandal. Everything is just like if it happened, you understand, you should, you should know the right channel to go to. If things like that happen, you don't, I believe you're a Christian also, definitely a Christian. You study the Bible very well and you understand the, the, the foundation, the major aspects of the Bible. If things like that happen as a Christian, who do you supposed to meet first? That is my question for you. Later you answer that question. So I want this video to, to share. Let people share this video so that this video will get to her. If things like that happen, what you need to do as a Christian, you go to the authority and report it to the authorities. And if the authority is not given a proper investigation, you go to the higher authority to report to it. But if the higher authority does not take major investigation about it you go to the higher authorities in the church to report it but if the higher authorities don't want to take any investigation you take, you take a lawyer the right things to do okay and bible said that judge no one as a christian you have no right to come to social media and judge and bible says forgive those that transgress against so that you too can also be forgiven so read very well the book of psalm 23 okay if you don't forgive if it happen you don't forgive you come to social media and make public to be your judge over this case number one you have wrong after 19 years now you've grown up and you become somebody famous popular celebrities that was when you now remember this particular man raped you when the man was not that fame was not that popular you do you remember that same man raped you because you know that the course of the church is getting expanded the church these churches has actually affected the lives of a lot of people in the society has actually changed things around for the youth and different people this church pay accommodation to a lot of people this church pay school fees to a lot of people this pastor has tried to bring revolution to the lives of people around that city that was when you now remember that this man raped you i know you're trying to scandalize the name of the church you're trying to scandalize the name of the christian you're trying to scandalize the name of the pastor because of all your statements that i've gone through there's no any kind of proof there number one that is my own opinion i've gone through i saw a lot of celebrity coming up to social media and also make a comment over this issue madam or oga or whatever you call yourself you have to be very careful i want to ask who you help how many people have you have, have you affected anyone's life is it because it's a kind of emotional things a lot of women has been raped through all this aspect and none of them have that boldness to talk why you don't have boldness to talk so my sister I want to tell you you have to be very, very careful you don't play with who god has anointed forget about maybe i know a lot of pastors commit such offense but i'm not here to judge anybody as a christian i have not permitted to judge that is your own life but you coming up to social media now you're bringing judgment to social media to come and judge for you and for those celebrities that come up with your different fashion it happened this way it happened that way it happened that way were you there if it happened to you why did you talk if it happened to you why did you talk if you are bold enough to say it? if anything happened to you immediately tell people not that after some years this woman got married that was when you now remember because of the emotional pain you remember that a, a man of god raped you i'm going to stop this trash stop, eh? when are we going to stop it that was what happened to pastor Playman. a girl just came up actually i was raped Aha, you know how the story goes everyone of us know how the story goes so i want to advise the members of this wonderful ministry because that please you have to be be prayerful 
Bible says, wash and pray. Be prayerful, and I want the service, everything in the church, I want everything to continue the way. Right? Because I saw some of the members of the church still writing some, I can't say nonsense, comment also. You guys have to be very, very careful. Please don't destroy the name, don't destroy the image of Christ because we are all Christians. You understand? I love all Christians all over the world. I love my Muslim brother also. But don't, don't allow anyone to use you as what Judas because you know how Judas died so you have to be very careful uh, if you saw I'm just calling you please go back and think twice and you understand if you happen go to the right channel social media is not a place for you to judge you understand if you come to social media to judge that means that you are paid to do that because if you're not paid to do that you will not come to social media if truly you know that this is factual I've gone to a right place to alter and to make your petition and this with the authority and this with the lawmaker will take advantage of that and they will go ahead and do their own um, prosecution so if not that way it's the wrong path so for me oh, as i'm talking to you here i don't believe it i don't normally come to share media to this but it affects me it affects my belief it also affects my uh my love for christians and also actually affects my love for christ so i cannot sit down and watch somebody trying to damage the image of Christ.